WICS at WJLA.com. Be sure to let us know where you took the photo and when, and we will post your photos online and use some of them on the air. Remember, that is pics at WJLA.com. Help us cover the news. That's right. Expand our reach. Kind of send a big thank you to those of you last night. I put a shout out. That, let's see some of these Blue Moon pictures out there. And, and they, they, they followed. Of, okay. Kind of Good deal. Up. Really appreciate that one. It's just another resource. Anything that's there, as we were just mentioning, help us send it on and pass along the information. What we've got for the weather information this rest of the weekend is tremendous as well. If you like the Saturday, thought maybe it was a bit hot. The latest just coming in shows temperatures down a little bit tomorrow and the humidity as well. No chances of rain. That was a bit of a surprise surprise maybe to some, but the some indications a couple days ago, combination of a weak front coming in and what was going around, a few isolated showers could have been possible. Storm March 7 over the region from this vantage point, really tough to see who got a little shower activity, but right in the middle of the afternoon here, one to two o'clock, we're going to go to Storm March 7 live Doppler, but to get back to my point right over DC, one little heavy shower and out near Bowie, the 301 exchange 50 and then near Annapolis, some heavier showers there as well. Right now in real time, we go to Charles County, the last of some fading showers right now, right over Waldorf, right over LaFleur. Later, but those are raining themselves out with eastward movement. Earlier, some showers Prince William to Stafford County. In fact, those were them. And the last shower out in Northern Virginia way has actually rained itself out in southern parts of Fauquier County. What do you say we talk temperatures and high temperature today? Yes, it ran 92, but humidity was down and most that it was spent in the 80s, rising up to get to that 92 degree mark. Yes, still 90 degrees technically at Reagan National. Low humidity, it still feels okay. So one combination, this weak fading front coming into the region was why we sparked those very isolated showers. This is the big picture over the next two days. Let's go to Sunday. We'll call it warm, but still it's dry. Okay, much, much different. We go to Monday, very hot. Humidity really picks up. Could bring some storms in late into the forecast, so unfortunately it doesn't last forever. Some great summertime weather. We'll restart back up to where we are right now at the six to seven o'clock hour. The last of the isolated showers go back, go away, and we'll start off low temperatures tomorrow. Anytime you could drop up our 50s in the middle of summertime, August 1st, you know you've dropped some humidity. It's going to be warm tomorrow. We'll bring high temperatures back upper 80s for most, kind of like what we had today. Our high temperature drops to 91 Reagan National. Low humidity, it still feels okay. Could see a storm coming in late Monday night. Put that after midnight. It's most going to be about the heat and humidity returning. Oof, 96 factor in humidity. It's the heat index could feel closer to 105. Why that's important to forecast heat index of 105 or above, that's heat advisory criteria for us. The seven day forecast, we'll get to the Monday, but enjoy your Sunday. 91, as I mentioned again, we're rising through the 80s to get to that point and the humidity is low and absolutely no chance of rain. Okay, looking good. And we will be right back. It's a golden opportunity to elevate each moment.